Okay, guys, back to our Yoruba lesson. Now, um, yeah, I made, what was it? I think I made one lesson before. Yeah, one lesson, two, three, total of three. This is the third lesson. So um, if you guys are new to watching this video, first of all, I would like to recommend this book here. Okay, this is a very good book for learning Yoruba. So definitely pick this up. It comes with audio as well. So a lot of a lot of stuff I talk about in my videos, you can um, you can use this book as a reference. You'll find the stuff here. Okay, so it's very good. All right. So what do we have here today? Uh, all right. So the first thing we have. Uh, uh, let's see. Ele, ele, and ek ele. So this. Okay, let's see. This the first one, Bele, it can be used uh, used by elders to greet younger people. Okay, that's one that's one situation. An elder greeting a greeting a younger person, and another situation is when uh, let's say I fell down and hurt myself. Uh, I was crying and then the elder comes to me, they say, Oh Bele, Bele, they say, I'm sorry that you hurt yourself. They they could use it in that situation as well. Now, when you say ek bele, ek bele, ek bele, I'm still trying to get used to the pronunciation of the Yoruba. Um, yeah, if you use this, this is like um, greeting an elder. Okay, it's very, very polite. All right? So, ek bele, ek bele, bele. The P is kind of weird because it's not pele. It's not pele, pele. It's like a K. You say the P in Yoruba is this. It's a combination of, it's a K plus a P, so it's bele, ba, 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 So yeah, that's interesting. All right, the second thing we'll talk about is vowel deletion. Now, what happens is when they speak fast, Yoruba, then some vowels get dropped, okay? So for example, this here says, She o tijon. She o tijon. She o tijon. This means, did you, have you eaten? Did you eat anything? Have you eaten? But when they say it fast, they may say it like this. Sho tijon. Sho tijon. So as you can see, the E is dropped. And they just put it together with the, the they put the, the S together with the O. With this apostrophe here. So it show tijon. Show tijon. And then another one here, they, we have she da da ni o ji. She da da ni o ji. So this is, um, the, this means did you sleep well? So we talked about this in the last lesson that she was a question particle when asking questions. So she, and you have she, and da da ni o ji. So da da, da da is good. Okay, so that da da ni o ji. So did it go well? The 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 sleep ni o ji. Now when they say it fast, it will be she da da lo ji, she da da lo ji. So um, there was a rule. They said before the nasal, like mm, is the nasal. They said there's a vowel here, like after the nasal. Normally they um, like o e. When they say it fast, they drop off the n. They drop off the n i, and they just use l o. So this this n i o is the n i is gone. They they use they they drop the n i at l and they get low. So she da da lo ji, she da da lo ji. Okay. What's another one? Okay. Oh, here's another one. Mi ko fe, mi ko fe, mi ko fe. This is like I don't want it. Mi ko fe, but when they say it fast, it'll be mi o fe, mi o fe, mi o fe. Okay. Um, one more thing with the vowel deletion. So we have um. Oh, this was backwards. This one should have been first. Okay. This one here is this. She a la fiani. She a la fiani. She a la fiani. So it's like, are you well? Are you, you know, is it peaceful or something like that? She a la fiani. It's almost like the uh, in Arabic when they say, um, like,
like um, it's close to salam, so assalamu alaikum. It's, it's, it's similar to that. Um, okay, so share lafiani, share lafiani. Now, when they say it fast, they did this e is gone. They'll say sha lafiani, sha lafiani, sha lafiani. Okay, pretty simple. Just drop off that vowel and add that apostrophe there. All right. So that's what happens when the, the, the vowel leaves. So when you look, when you guys, if you have this book, maybe you like, why are they dropping off vowels? That's because of the um, the speed. When they speak fast, Yoruba, certain vowels get dropped off. Okay. All right. So what's next? So this one here, this is dealing with like some neg. Uh, I gotta say Oburu, like <clears throat> like O by itself means he, she, or it. They use this he, she, or it. But when they say like when it's negative, you want to say it's it's um what is it? Um I'm gonna say oburu. It's like a negative, like it's not good. Then this o, it you drop this off and you add it, you add K O and the 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 excuse me, the the tone changes. Okay, it becomes like the um it becomes the falling tone here. So oburu becomes goburu, goburu. It's like it's not good, or it can mean um, it's not a problem, or something like that. In a, de depending on the context. So here again, olo, ol, uh, olo, olo, olo. So it's like it goes, it's go she goes, or whatever, whichever, whatever. Um, depending on the context, and then you say, you say, um, golo. Colo, not going. Okay. Um, or doesn't go. This one here, ojion, 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 ojion. So it's like he eats, she eats, and then you have the negative, kojion, 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 kojion. You're still trying to get used to this because see, this is different. Like this o. And you have this O here with the downer. This is like an O. And then this O here is like an O. O. So you have to be careful with those. All right. So you normally, when it's, when it's negative, like you just completely drop off this O here. O. And then you have Ko. Ko. All right. Now, here we just, these are, um, these are uh, tenses. Okay. Verb tenses, like future tense, past tense. Those good things, and um, yeah, they're they're very very useful. So I think I used a few of these in the last lesson, but let's see what we have here. So <clears throat> so this one is multi ko yoruba lana, multi ko yoruba lana. So. This T here is like, um, like I, I have done something. So I have studied Yoruba yesterday. So T, I have. So as you can see, the grammar is not that bad. I have studied, so I have studied Yoruba yesterday. Moti ko Yoruba lana. Moti ko Yoruba lana. All right, next one. Moma ko yoruba lola. Moma ko yoruba lola. So ma, I think I used this in the last lesson. This is a future tense for like I will, you will do something. Moma ko, moma ko, I will study yoruba lola tomorrow. Lola is tomorrow. Next one. Mo ko yoruba. Pa lana. Moko Yoruba lana. So this is not saying I have studied, it's just saying I studied Yoruba yesterday. I studied Yoruba yesterday. And we talked about this in the last lesson. When you just take a regular verb, if you look study up or learn in the dictionary, it's going to give you ko. And um, when you put it in a context like this, it's like past tense, like I did it. So moko. Moko Yoruba Lana. So I studied Yoruba yesterday. All right, just study. Not I have studied, but just I studied.
Okay, the next one. Unko. Let's see. Unko iti ko yoruba. Unko iti. Unko iti ko yoruba. It's very okay. So this is like the negative of like I haven't done something. I I I have done something. I haven't. So I haven't studied yoruba. Unko iti ko yoru yoruba. So I haven't studied yoruba. Right. I think this was in the last lesson as well. Um, this one here. Unko ko yoruba lola. Unko ko yoruba lola. So this is saying like I didn't study yoruba. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I messed up somewhere. Um, oh, okay, so yeah, this this is like I didn't study, not I haven't, but I didn't. But lo, I've used the wrong, we don't what well, makes sense to put lola there. This is tomorrow, so perhaps we should put yesterday. I didn't study Yoruba yesterday, which would be. Which would be lana, lana, lana. So, lana, lana. Okay. Unko ko yoruba lana. So I didn't study. I didn't study yoruba yesterday. All right. Now this one. This is the one I mixed it up with. Unko ni. Wait. Unko ni. Ko yoruba lola. Unko ni ko yoruba lola. So this is I'm not going to study yoruba tomorrow. Okay, so now you have I'm not going to. I'm not going to study yoruba tomorrow. Unko ni. So that's I'm not going to. Alright. So moving along here. So um, let's see. Now, now we want to talk about this in here, the present. We we call it uh, English present progressive. Something is going. Something is ongoing. Ongoing tense. So um, these are some examples here. Like you say, nko, n lo, n we, n solo, solo, solo. So nko that means studying. You're literally studying now. N lo, you're going. N we, you're like showering, you're washing. N solo, you're talking. So all you have to do is add the the n in the in the front, and then put the verb. Then you'll get that that present present progressive tense there. All right. So here's some example sentences. So mo n ko. Ede Yoruba ni si si monko monko ede Yoruba ni si si. So this says that I am studying the Yoruba language now. I am studying the Yoruba language now. So ede Yoruba, the Yoruba language ni si si. You guys have seen this in the last lesson. This is now. Okay. Now, next one. Mojion, um, let's see. Mojion, ni pati, mo nko ede yoruba. Mojion, ni pati, mo nko ede yoruba. So this is, um, let's see. I ate, I ate when I was studying yoruba. So mojion, so mojion. So again, this is the verb to eat, and it's here just for past tense. Mojion, I ate ni bati. Ni bati is like when, when something was happening. Ni bati, ni bati, ni bati, mon ko, mon ko. So mon ko, studying, when I was studying, mon ko, I'm studying, ede yoruba, yoruba language. Okay, so that's pretty simple. All you have to do is add the n 
before the verb, and you'll get the present progressive. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys before I end the lesson. Oh, let's see here. All right. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this a little. All right, you guys can see. You guys can see. Okay, so now you guys can see those these we're dealing with plurals here okay so as you can see our walk we have our walk you add our walk in the front of a noun and you'll get the plural so our walk for example e we e we e we that is book this means book but when you add our walk at the beginning our walk you say our walk our walk e we I won't eat way. I won't eat way. This is books. Okay, it becomes books. Here we have ori, ori, ori le, ori le. Let's see, ori le ete, ori le ete. This means countries or nations. When you put I won't at the beginning, I won't, I won't. So I won't, I won't, ori le ete. Countries or nations. I won't ori le it. And here's an example sentence here. Let's see. Um, me oh. Let me see. I think I'm forgetting something. Um, this is the dot here. Me fair eye. Okay. So, me uh me fair eye. I won't iwe ede yoruba. Me fair eye. Me fera a wo iwe e de yoruba. So I like fera me 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 fera. That means I like. I believe the tone is me me fera. Uh, me fera. I like a wo a wo iwe e de yoruba. So the yoruba the yoruba books, yoruba language books. I like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Very, very simple. The, like I said, the grammar for Yoruba is not, is, it is not difficult. And I'm gonna make a comparison video between Yoruba, Navajo, Navajo, and um, I believe, uh, what's it, Yoruba, Navajo, Zulu, and uh, Amharic. So that's what I plan to do, show you guys, because I, I, I've been um, noticing a lot of similarities between these languages so um, yeah this is pretty much it for the video if you guys I'm learning Yoruba I've been learning a lot so if you guys are native speakers um, you know come and help us out and uh, make video response because it, it like I said it would be much more easy if you make a video response to make some corrections because of the you know this is a tonal language so we want to make sure we hear the sounds um, accurately so um, yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any comments or whatever, video responses, go ahead and post those up and uh, we'll appreciate them. So thanks for viewing and I uh, look forward to you guys' comments.